So tell me about growing up in Minnesota and, and getting into music. Well, um, I think that Minnesota and, and coming up, well, some people look at me and they say, I, I can't imagine how you came up doing what you do, mm -hmm. coming from where you come from. Right. On the other hand, I think there's a certain beauty in it because I grew up with no um, real preconceptions about what's cool, what's hip, you know, mm -hmm. and I... I was exposed to really early jazz because of this piano teacher I had that had been a stride pianist in Chicago mm -hmm. and named Evelyn Butler and she the only reason she moved to Wyndham Minnesota was because she her husband and her son died within a month of each other oh, wow. and her only living family was a daughter who married a man that lived in Wyndham mm -hmm. so this really extraordinarily talented woman was there and she gave me lessons but her style of playing was really old so I thought that jazz had kind of died beyond you know stride and early swing right. you know I really right. didn't know there was a whole history beyond that till I got to college mm -hmm. you know and then um, I started somebody you know lent me some records and I started to listen to a lot of things but in a way it was great because there was no jazz program there mm -hmm. They were, so I just studied with people on my own and kind of put things, the pieces together myself. Mm -hmm. And the pieces that came together were, first of all, coming from harmony from standard tunes because I, I loved Cole Porter and Gershwin and everything growing up. Right. And then also the music, sometimes I think a lot about the pop music that I listened to when I was a kid. One thing was the Fifth Dimension, yeah, and Jimmy Webb tunes, and mm -hmm. another thing you know, was Simon and Garfunkel, yeah, and then also just the whole, you know, the horns in all that music at that time. Pop music was very horn instrumental, yeah, you know, kind of oriented stuff, and then classical music. I was really into, um, you know, uh, what do you call uh, um, Copeland, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and Ravel and things. So all these things kind of came together in sort of a mishmash of a way, where is maybe if you if you were from some kind of hipper place, you would be more apt to come up right look you within down. a genre yeah or yeah, yeah or, or you'd find your slot and you'd find all the experts in that and they would help guide you. I had no guidance in yeah. a way. You know, I mean, I think of, of the pieces that I first fell in love with in, in playing with you a lot and listening, like my season, of last season, right. my lament, Greenpeace, you know, and then where where your music's gone now. But I wanted to ask you about like some of the inspiration for those pieces because it seems that oftentimes in your life there are certain specific people yeah. that really impact you and I just wanted to ask you about some of those people that... well first of all I think what happens to me when I write is when I sit down and I come up with a sound you know I'm always just searching for sounds that somehow feel like they have a personality that can kind of grow off and be something very unique yeah. from each of the other pieces you know mm -hmm. I'm always looking for personality and what happens to me then is very often once I get into that and I'm into the piece a lot of times the sound will bring me back to something, to a person, yeah. to a place, to an experience. And then when I start thinking about that experience, then it starts helping to develop the sound. So it's gotcha. like, so it's almost like the sound is like a radio signal that brings up this, mm -hmm. you know, all of a sudden this experience comes out and then I use that and it, it it all kind of works together. So then, you know, I describe these pieces to people and I say, well, this piece is about this or whatever. But the truth is, is that I didn't intellectually set out to write a piece about such and such a person or such and such a thing, but that the piece really kind of organically came out of me. Right. And I believe out of that experience because then all of a sudden I'm transported to that. Right. So it's kind of involuntary like sometimes it's people say oh you should write a piece about this thing in your childhood mm -hmm. but I can't I can't predict what those things are right right it just has to come it, it, it comes in its own time or, or, or is in sometimes something I didn't ever even think about that I'd ever write a piece about it just comes mm -hmm. up like dance you mark